Greetings, Preacher Rick with you. One more time with the Word of God. Thank God forever. Hospitality and love. Love and hospitality cover many sins. Amen. Thank God forever. That's the title of our sermon today. And we're so glad for the Word of God, aren't you? So glad to share the Word of God daily. I praise God for the opportunity once again to come into your home or your car or wherever you might be and share the precious Word of God. Nothing more precious in this world than the Word of God. And Christ is that Word. Thank God forever. So sharing with you in First uh, Peter, the fourth chapter, I'd like to read to you the uh, eighth and the ninth verse. It says, and above all things. Now, boy, that's putting some emphasis on it, isn't it? Let me read that again. Above all things. So what would that be? Well, you know the old saying, all is all that all can be. And it says, above all things, have fervent charity. Fervent charity, wow, among yourselves. That means love, wow, that's so fervent and so ferocious, if you'll pardon the expression. Love that, but you, when you're around that person, you think, wow, the love of God. Wow, have fervent charity among yourselves. That means in the fellowship of believers and with those that you're around, may the love of God shine through your life. So above all things, have fervent charity among yourselves. Why? For charity, which is love at its max, for charity shall cover the multitude of sins. Amen. And then verse 9 says, use hospitality one to another without grudging. And what is hospitality? Well, hospitality, it's friendly and generous reception and entertainment of guests uh, visitors or strangers or whoever it might be that's what hospitality is and uh, you know have you ever been around someone they won't even turn their tv down if you're around them or uh, the, they, they won't quit playing with their phone if you're trying to talk to them or uh, they just don't know how to show any of their time back to you they have a lack of hospitality. But a hospitable person is a person that will lay aside other things and pay attention to you and show you comfort and show you, uh, you know, a very generous reception, as, as we always said, that they care, that they have a fervent charity for your time, that they have a fervent charity for you. Uh, thank God. And it, it teaches here, thank God, uh, that charity shall cover the multitude of sins. I was reading uh, back in the book of Proverbs uh, uh, and it, it talks a little bit about uh, covering it's chapter 10 and verse 12. Hatred stirreth up strifes but love covereth all sins. So here it's called love and uh, over in the New Testament it's, it's charity and they're both love but here in the book of Proverbs, the wise old saying says, Hatred, that's chapter 10, verse 12. Hatred stirreth up strife, but love covereth all sins. Love will, will cover all sins. And we read to you that charity shall cover the multitude of sins. So it covers many, many sins. Thank God forever. And hospitality one to another uh, without grudging. Uh, we all know what it means to, to grudge somebody. So, I mean, it means that you, you give it to them, but it's not from the heart. Uh, it means that you you begrudge it, uh, it that you preferred that you hadn't even given it to them. I, I wouldn't even want something that somebody gave to me that had a grudging heart, would you? I, I'm, I guess, you know, I, I count all things materialistic that people would give. And they're so temporal to begin with. But if we give out of a cheerful heart, thank God, and we have love that's explained here, uh, such above all things, have fervent charity among yourselves. Uh, may we pray. Our most kind and gracious Father, bless your word today. Uh, 
uh, anoint these lips of clay, dear God, uh, and send the preacher, dear God, that we might preach your unsearchable riches, uh, a Heavenly Father, in a way that pleases you. Save the lost, bless your church, and may it all be for thy glory, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Uh, uh, thank God. So it's time uh, that we as a church show the love of God uh, in ways the world doesn't even know. Uh, if you uh, uh, around your enemy, the Bible says, uh, love your enemy uh, and pray for them that despitefully use you. Uh, uh, the Bible teaches that love covers uh, a multitude of sins, which we just read to you. Uh, that uh, uh, we need to have fervent charity one uh, with another, thank God, uh, amongst ourselves. We need, uh, uh, thank God, to show the love of God today uh, in this old hateful world. Uh, uh, thank God. Why? Uh, uh, as we was reading to you uh, back here in Proverbs, uh, it says, Hatred stirreth up strifes, uh, uh, but thank God, uh, love covereth all sins. Uh, uh, where there's so much hate in the world uh, uh, that and so much strife stirred up, why wouldn't we as Christians uh, uh, want, thank God, to cover that old dark uh, uh, world the world's living in, uh, that old dark way uh, uh, called sin, uh, and show the love of God. Uh, the Bible teaches that God is love. Uh, uh, thank God. And when you have the love of God in your heart, uh, uh, thank God in you uh, above all things. Uh, uh, show it the way it teaches us here in the Scripture. Uh, uh, thank God uh, uh, it will lead others to the foot of the cross. Uh, and when they get led to the foot of the cross, uh, that's where the precious blood of Jesus uh, was shed. Uh, uh, thank God when that blood is applied to our hearts, uh, uh, thank God there is uh, uh, thank God a change it comes on. We're born again, uh, washed in that blood. Uh, thank God. And our sins uh, are forgiven. Uh, uh, thank God. By the grace of God, we're saved by grace through faith. Uh, and when you uh, have that grace of God, which is love, uh, which is charity, uh, uh, which covers uh, all sins, thank God. Uh, and when we've been forgiven much, we'll uh, love much. Uh, uh, when we understand what we've been forgiven, uh, the Bible teaches he that is forgiven much loveth much. Uh, he that is forgiven little uh, loveth little. Uh, uh, you know, I want to be one of those uh, that loves much, don't you? Uh, I want to look at my enemy and pray for him. Uh, I want to look at those that despitefully use me uh, and pray for him. Uh, I want to be found faithful to the end, uh, showing the love of the Lord Jesus Christ uh, with these lips of play. Uh, Thank God always. Uh, uh, thank God loving my neighbor as myself. Uh, do you know the Bible teaches us that? Uh, uh, you know, if you really think about uh, how you're... To, and, and you know the Bible teaches they uh, uh, practically mock Christ when they say, Well, who is my neighbor? Uh, uh, you tell me who isn't my neighbor. Uh, uh, let me tell you today, uh, uh, we're in a small world uh, after all, aren't we? Uh, uh, and if you see someone in need uh, and your bowels of compassion are not there, uh, uh, why? Uh, uh, how can you expect God to have compassion on you uh, if you don't have compassion on others? Uh, if we don't have the love of God abounding in our hearts and lives, uh, uh, showing it through uh, the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, uh, if we're not getting, uh, uh, thank God, uh, uh, others saved, uh, uh, maybe that's the reason. Maybe we're not being hospitable enough. Uh, uh, maybe we're not showing how much we care about others. Uh, maybe we're not doing what the Bible says to do above all things uh, uh, by showing the love of God. Uh, uh, and I'll read it again. And above all things, have fervent charity among yourselves. Uh, uh, for charity shall cover the multitude of sins. Uh, uh, thank God. And we all were born in sin. Uh, uh, we grew up in them, uh, uh, and sin was all around us. Uh, and when we came to that age of accountability, uh, whatever age it was, when you knew right from wrong uh, and you chose wrong over uh, uh, right, and that's when you started had to be accountable for it. Uh, uh, but until that time, we know that we're in the grace dispensation. Uh, uh, we know that God is with us. Uh, but once we get saved, uh, uh, then it's up to us to share the love. Uh, as I've shared many times, 
signs. We're living epistles read and known of men. Uh, in other words, we're God's love letter to the world. Uh, uh, we, the church, may be the only Bible uh, that many of the sinners read. Uh, those we work with, those bosses that are obnoxious, uh, hard to put up with, or those uh, co-workers that we can't hardly tolerate their language, uh, can't hardly tolerate their actions. Uh, uh, you know, uh, it takes a, a spiritual enlightenment uh, uh, for you to be able to overlook those things and forgive others and love your enemy and pray for those uh, which despitefully use and abuse you. Uh, it takes the Spirit of God. Uh, that's why the Bible says, be ye filled with the Spirit. Uh, uh, thank God. But we need to live a sanctified, dedicated, consecrated, uh, holy life that pleases the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, we need to walk in the Spirit, talk in the Spirit. Uh, uh, thank God. And be found faithful, uh, abiding in the love of God. Uh, uh, thank God when others uh, uh, see us, they'll see love, uh, not hate. Uh, they'll see uh, generosity, uh, not uh, stinginess uh, and self-centeredness. Uh, they'll see, thank God, hospitability. Uh, hospitabil hospitability. I can't get the word out. Hospitable. <laughs> we'll be hospitable. I'll get it out that way. Uh, thank God, but we will be. We'll be hospitable. And they'll see that uh, instead of us being uh, all self-centered and caring only about ourselves. Uh, and that's so much of the world today. Uh, it's such a self-centered world. Uh, selfish uh, uh, people. You know, the Bible teaches uh, that uh, uh, the love for money is the root of all evil. Why would that be? It's not money that's evil. Uh, it's old-fashioned greediness. And we're seeing greediness more today uh, than we've ever seen it because the world's so self-centered. Uh, it's all about me, myself, and I. Uh, well, I'm glad it's all about the great I am Jesus. Uh, thank God because everything I'm not, He is. Uh, bless His loving and holy name. Uh, uh, thank God for uh, His hospitality. Thank God uh, for His love. Thank God for God so loved the world uh, that He gave His only begotten Son that whosoever believeth in Him uh, should not perish, and that's me, but have everlasting, ever eternal life. Thank God forever for Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for saving a wretch like me. I'll be the first one in line to say I don't deserve it. But I'm so thankful I have it. And I'm so thankful I'm able to share it by the preached word today one more time. I hope and I pray that this sermon has been a blessing to you. I hope it encourages you and helps you uh, to just keep pressing toward the mark. Uh, thank God. Show hospitality. Show love to your neighbors, to the stranger along the way, to those that are hateful with you, uh, that you might heap coals of fire upon their head and they'll see their need to repent of their sins and be saved while there's still time. This is Preacher Rick. Until the next time, beloved, God bless you. Push the share button. Bye-bye.